Let's fight the ghost began with a man named Park Bong Pal just woke up, but when he was in the bathroom, suddenly the door opened and there was a female ghost trying to disturb him. Annoyed, Bong Pal just hit her immediately. Yes, Bong Pal can see ghosts, but his ability makes him feel disturbed. Therefore, he works as an exorcist to save 100 million won, just to operate his eyes so he can't see ghosts anymore. Bong Pal is a college student but he prefers to be alone rather than hanging out with his friends because it makes him feel more peaceful and of course he doesn't want to be considered weird by his friends. Even so, Bong Pal always pays attention to a very beautiful girl named Si Yan. But when he was having fun looking at her, he was approached by his seniors, Chun Sang and In Rang. Both of them have a club called Ghostnet, and their activity is hunting ghosts. Therefore, they invited Bong Pal to join their club. However, Bong Pal was not interested at all. When they went to their base camp, it turned out that their base would be disbanded by the campus because there are only two club members. If they don't want their base camp to be closed, they must have a minimum of four club members. What's worse, they also haven't paid the rent for the base camp and this makes them even more annoyed. In another place, there's a monk named Myung Chol who works as an exorcist and he lives with Bong Pal. At night, Bong Pal is in charge of exorcising ghosts at a women's high school. Because the payment is very high, without thinking twice, Bong Pal immediately leaves to do the job. But when Bong Pal is about to leave, Myung Chul asks him to never exercise ghosts again because it is very dangerous. So Bong Pal reasons that he was going to go to study. At the same time, Chun Sang and In Rang were also at that high school. Of course, they were there just for hunting ghosts. Even though they were interested in hunting ghosts, they were cowards. Then, Bong Pal went inside the school and saw a female student named Hyun Jai. But suddenly, the girl disappeared just like that. And of course, that made Bong Pal quite surprised. It turned out that Hyunju was a ghost and Bong Pal thought that Hyunju was a ghost that had to be defeated, so he immediately beat her. But Hyunju was very strong, so Bong Pal was beaten by her. In the morning, Bong Pal and Myung Chul had to exercise ghosts. However, Myung Chul's ability to see ghosts had disappeared, so Bong Pal had to help him. Meanwhile that night, Chun Sang and In Rang come back to school to hunt ghosts and record it. Not long after that, Bong Pal comes with Myung Chul's weapon to avenge Hyun Ji, who beat him yesterday. But still, Bong Pal is in trouble because of Hyun Jai. But they accidentally fell, and it made them kiss each other. It turned out that this made Hyun Jai remember about her death. Because since she died, she doesn't remember anything. She can forgot how she died. Of course, this incident made them embarrassed. Hyun Jai was annoying with Bong Pal because this was the first time she had kissed. On the other side, Chun Sang and In Rang were shocked to see a ghost who immediately chased them. The ghost was once a teacher who died because he peeked at a female student who was in the toilet. Bong Pal and Hyun Ji who saw the ghost ran away because they were all very scared. Then the ghost saw Hyun Jai who was alone and was about to attack her. Bong Pal and friends managed to get out of the building safely, but Bong Pal couldn't bear Hyun Ji so he decided to go back to the school building and help Hyun Ji, who was attacked by the evil ghost. But not long after that, Bong Pal came and immediately beat the eagle ghost. However, Bong Pal's power is no match for the ghost. Unexpectedly, Bong Pal actually apologizes to the ghost. But it turns out it was just a trick to distract the ghost's attention. So Bong Pal and Hyun Ji can defeat the ghost by working together. This makes Bong Pal realize that Hyun Ji was the one who ordered his services to exercise the ghost. Therefore, Bong Pal asked Hyun Ji for the payment. Well, because Hyun Jae is just a very beautiful ghost, surely she doesn't have the money to pay for Bong Pal's service. Of course, this makes Bong Pal feel annoyed. After that, Hyun Ji meets his ghost friend, Kyun Ja. She always teases the guy she likes. Then Hyun Ji told her friend that she accidentally kissed someone which made her memories start to come back. But now Hyun Ji doesn't even remember anymore. So Kyun Ja advises Hyun Ji to kiss the guy again. The next day, when Bong Pao was going home, he saw a mother who was with her child, and that made him remember about the past again. At that time, Bong Pao saw a black shadow behind his mother and the black shadow pushed his mother onto the road. Because of that, his mother was hit by a car and died immediately. Since then, Bong Pao could see ghosts and this made him shunned by his friends because he was considered a weird kid. That's the reason why Bong Pao preferred to be alone. When Bong Pao came home, Hyunju was waiting for him. Of course, this made Bong Pao feel annoyed. However, Hyun Jai immediately kissed Bong Pal straight away. But it's not that easy for Hyun Ji, the sweet ghost. The reason Hyun Ji wanted to kiss Bong Pal is because she wants to know about her death. But Bong Pal refused to do that because last night, Hyun Jai had tricked him. But still, Hyun Ji wouldn't kiss Bong Pal. From here, Hyun Ji continued to follow Bong Pal wherever he went. 
Even Himanji followed Bong Pao to campus so she could continue to be with him. At campus, there was a lecturer named Hai Sung. He is a veterinarian who teaches as a substitute lecturer and of course, this makes the female students immediately happy. Hyunji, who knows that Bong Pao likes Siu Yun, makes Bong Pao raise his hand to help Siu Yun make a report. Even though Bong Pao feels annoyed, he is very happy because he can be close with Siu Yun. Since then, Hyunjai and Bong Pao have become closer. However, sometimes Bong Pao feels annoyed with Hyunjai. Shortly at night, there is a man sleeping at the inn and suddenly, a ghost disturbs him. The next day, Myung Chol saw a group of women who were gossiping. It turned out that the man who was disturbed by the ghost last night was dead. This made Myung Chol curious and immediately went to the inn. From last night's incident, the inn is empty of visitors. This also made the owner feel sad and not long after that, she met Myung Chol. The owner of the inn knows Myung Chol because he used to be very famous for his skills as a ghost exorcist. Therefore, she asked Myung Chol to exorcise the ghost in her inn even though she feels doubtful about Myung Chol now. After that, Myung Chol is going to go inside the room. But suddenly, the ghost pulled Myung Chol right away. Meanwhile, Chun Sang and In Rang felt suspicious of Bong Pao who could see ghosts because they accidentally saw Bong Pao was talking to himself. And again, they invited Bong Pao to join their club. But unfortunately, Bong Pao still was not interested in joining them. When night came, Myung Chol came home with a battered face from being beaten by a ghost. Bong Pao asked Myung Chol about this but he didn't want to answer it. Suddenly, Myung Chol said that he smelled something and this made Bong Pao feel worried. He was afraid that Myung Chol would know that there was a ghost at their house. Apparently, Myung Chol smelled the aroma of the food made by Bong Pao. Then, they immediately had dinner together. Seeing this made Hyunji feel hungry. While Bong Pao was sleeping, Hyun Jai thought that this was the right time for her to kiss Bong Pao. And sure enough, this makes Bong Pao wake up and he feels angry at Hyun Jai who tries to kiss him. The next morning, Bong Pao gets a call, asking him to exercise the ghost at the inn. Bong Pao happily accepts it but again, Chung Sang and In Rang who see Bong Pao talking to himself are increasingly convinced that Bong Pao can talk to ghosts. At night, Chun Sang and In Rang followed Bong Pao to the inn to exercise the ghost. Later, they will record it for live streaming so that their club becomes more famous. After that, Bong Pao immediately goes in to expel the ghost while Hyunji goes to the back area and finds a knife that still has blood on it. Then Bong Pao opens a cupboard but it's empty. When Bong Pao was about to leave, suddenly a cold hand grabbed him. Bong Pao can see how this woman died, and she was a victim of her husband's violence and was put in the cupboard. It turns out that the husband is also dead so Bong Pao has to fight him too. At the same time, Myung Chol came to take the weapon he left behind. But because he was afraid, he didn't take it. Meanwhile, Bong Pao was still trying to fight the ghost who was stronger than him. While hiding, Chun Sang and In Rang recorded everything. Then Hyun Jae came to help Bong Pao so they worked together to defeat the ghost. Here, Hyun Jae saw that there was a red mark on the ghost's stomach because in the past, he had been killed by his own friend. He was stabbed in the stomach with a knife and the red mark was his weakness so Bong Pao was able to defeat him. Now this female ghost can be free and can return peacefully to her real place. Then suddenly Bong Pao found a weapon belonging to Myung Chol and immediately took it. While going home, Bong Pao asked Hyun Ji why she was following him. Then Hyun Ji said that since she died five years ago, she had no memory of the past and didn't even know why she died. But for the first time after five years, Hyunji started to remember glimpses of her past when she kissed Bong Pao. Since then, Hyunji wanted to try it again. But strangely, this time the kiss doesn't make Hyunji remember her past. Hyunji just stays silent and just walks away. In another place, there was a female singer named Miz who was always bullied by haters. Because she couldn't stand it anymore, she decided to end her life while recording it with her cell phone. The next morning, Hyunji met Bong Pao. Because Hyunja has the ability to see the weaknesses of ghosts, so from now on, they will work together to beat ghosts. It is because Hyunji has to pay off all her debts to Bong Pao of 10 million won. Meanwhile, Chun Sang is furious because his account was hijacked by another person named Sadako. Sadako used the account to comment negatively to Miz. However, because of his actions, he was also haunted by Miz who is now a ghost. It's because Sadako always insulted her using his own account or someone else's account. As a result, he had to die because of Miz. Meanwhile, Hyunji asked Bong Pao to help her study. Hyunji thought that probably by studying, she could go to the next life as a good spirit. After that, they went shopping for food and Hyunji wanted meat, forcing Bong Pao to buy it. Not only that, Hyunji also asked Bong Pao to buy her new dress. 
but Bong Pao refused to buy it, and this made Hyunji feel sad. On the other hand, Chun Sang and In Rang were annoyed with Sadako, and they immediately went to his house. However, when they entered the flat, they were very surprised to see that Sadako had died horribly. Worsely, Ms. the ghost had killed everyone who had insulted her. Of course, this made Chun Sang very, very scared because his account had been hijacked by Sadako to send hate comments to Ms. As a result, Chun Sang was haunted by Ms. In Rang felt sorry for his best friend, so he asked Bong Pal to help Chun Sang. Luckily, Hyunji came on time to help Chun Sang. Here, Hyunji tried to convince Ms. not to bother people. However, Ms. was very angry, so she didn't care at all about anything, and she immediately beat Hyunji. Finally, Bong Pao came to help Hyunji and immediately beat Ms. Finally, they managed to beat her. Meanwhile, Hai Sung saw a girl named Hyunju feeding a cat. But when Hai Sung wanted to touch the cat, it scratched his hand instead. At night, Bong Pao saw Hyunji sleeping and felt sorry for her. After all, Hyunji had helped him to defeat Ms. the ghost. Therefore, Bong Pao bought the dress that Hyunju wanted. After that, Bong Pao burned the dress so that Hyunji could wear it. Sure enough, this made Bong Pao immediately fascinated by Hyunji's beauty. In another place, Hyunju went back to feed her cat, but she was very shocked to see that the dam was dead. It could be that Hai Sung was the person who killed the cat because his hands had some scratch marks. The next day, Bong Pao collected a debt from Chun Sang and In Rang for the exorcism fee of 1 million won. But unfortunately, they don't even have the money to pay for it. Strangely, at campus, Hai Sung seems to be avoiding Hyunji when he's walking. Of course, this makes Hyunji wonder if it's possible that Hai Sung can see her. However, Bong Pao doesn't believe it. Meanwhile, Hyunju meets Su Yan. But when Hyunju sees Hai Sung, she remembers the night when her cat died. Sure enough, it was true that Hai Sung, full of anger, killed the cat, and this made Hyunju very scared. But when Hyunju left, she accidentally dropped her pen, and it turned out that the pen belonged to Hai Sung, which had fallen while he killed Hyunju's cat. Su Yan immediately gave the pen to Hai Sung saying that the pen was found by Hyunju. Meanwhile, in another place, Myung Chiul's friend asked about Bong Pao's father. Myung Chiul then said that Bong Pao's father was chasing the ghost who had killed his wife, but Myung Chiul felt worried because until now, there has been no news from Bong Pao's father. That evening, Bong Pao taught Hyunji some subjects so that later, Hyunji could go to the next life in peace. However, Hyunji was not enthusiastic and wanted to go, reasoning she had a stomach ache. But Bong Pao stopped her immediately, because how could a ghost have a stomach ache? So he asked Hyunji to study seriously. But in the end, Hyunji ended up falling asleep. At the same time, Chun Sang and In Rang went to a sauna, but the place was very quiet and there weren't any visitors coming. They fell asleep in a room and suddenly there's a scary ghost. Luckily, Chun Sang managed to come out safely. The next morning, Hyunji comes into the room. In that room, there are many relics belonging to Bong Pao's mother. Hyunjai is very interested in Bong Pao's mother's heels. Bong Pao, who sees it, is very angry with Hyunjai. On campus, Shun Sang and In Rang meet Bong Pao, so Bong Pao chases them to ask for the money. Shun Sang asked Bong Pao to give him two months to collect his debt, but In Rang instead promised to pay the debt within two days. That day, Bong Pao felt very lonely because usually, Hyunjae sits next to him. And Hyunjae also felt the same thing. When Bong Pao went home, he felt sorry for Hyunji, so he cooked Hyunji's favorite food, and in the end, they had dinner together. Not long after that, Chun Sang called Bong Pao and asked him to meet. Here, Chun Sang and In Rang invited Bong Pao to exercise ghosts at the bathhouse for a fee of 3 million won. Here, Hyunji drank too much, so when she exercised the ghosts, she fell asleep. It turned out that the ghost came to Hyunjai who was sleeping, but luckily, Bong Pao came to help Hyunjai. However, they were too overwhelmed to fight the ghost because he was very strong. But luckily, Hyunji knew his weakness. Therefore, Bong Pao managed to beat the ghost. But when they came home, Hyunji was still drunk, and this made Bong Pao feel annoyed because Hyunji was very spoiled. After that, Bong Pla immediately carried Hyunji. On the other hand, when Hyunji was about to go home, Hai Sun came. This made Hyunju very scared, and she tried to run away. But unfortunately, Hai Sun managed to catch her, and without mercy, Hai Sun immediately killed her. That day, Chun Sang and In Rang are very happy because they succeeded in exorcising the ghost in the bathing house. Therefore, they will work together with Bong Pal to exorcise the ghosts so they can make money quickly. So Chun Sang and In Rang are in charge of looking for clients, while Bong Pal is the one who has to exorcise the ghost. Meanwhile, Bong Pao is getting closer and closer to Hyunjae. Even when someone wants to sit next to Bong Pao in the bus, 
he reasons that someone is already occupying the seat. Then, at campus, Chun Sang explains to Bong Pal about their teamwork. Because it was mutually beneficial, Bong Pal agreed to do that, but he still wouldn't join their club. However, Chun Sang and In Rang wouldn't just give up, so they started looking for ways to get Bong Pal to join the Coastnet. Then they realized that Bong Pal likes Siwian. So Chun Sang had a plan so that Bong Pal wanted to join them. But apparently, Bong Pal's closeness to Siu Yan makes Hyunjae start to get jealous. That means now, Hyunjae starts to like Bong Pal. That afternoon, Bong Pal had lunch with Siu Yan and Hai Sung. Here, Hai Sung asks about Bong Pal's life, but this actually makes Bong Pal feel uncomfortable, so he immediately leaves. This also makes Hyunjae like Bong Pal even more, and of course, she becomes embarrassed. Meanwhile, Chun Sang and In Rang meet Siu Yan because they know that Bong Pal likes her. Therefore, they invite Siu Yan to join their club. Unexpectedly, Siu Yan wants to join their club. On the other hand, Hai Sung was at home and he opened a photo album. Strangely, in the album, there was a photo of Bong Pao with his parents. Meanwhile, Bong Pao was teaching Hyun Ji again. But instead of studying, Hyun Ji looked at Bong Pao, and it turned out that Hai Sung was already outside of Bong Pao's place. In another place, a man was sleeping and he felt disturbed by a kid's voice in the next door. Because he felt annoyed, he went to the house. But when he entered the house, to his surprise, it turned out that it was the voice of a kid ghost. The next day, Chun Sang and In Rang picked up Bong Pao to check the haunted apartment. When Bong Pao arrived there, he saw a woman who was anxious and upset. Then Bong Pao and Hyunji went into the apartment, and they saw lots of pictures on the walls and an inscription that says, I hate you, Dad. After that, Bong Pao heard a voice from inside the cupboard. Hyunji was just playing around, but it was enough to surprise Bong Pao. Not long after that, Bong Pao heard a kid's voice. The boy's ghost seemed so scared that he immediately ran away. But when he was caught, he bit Bong Pao's hand until finally, it decided to go home. Here, Chun Sang also said that Siu Yan had joined the ghost net. Of course, this made Bong Pao very surprised, and in the end, Bong Pao decided to join the club so he can keep close with Siu Yan. It turns out that this boy died because he was tortured by his drunken stepfather. And when the mother was going to help her child, she accidentally killed her husband. The woman that Bong Pao saw earlier was the child's mother. Bong Pao was curious and immediately came back to help the boy, who was now hiding because he was being chased by his stepfather's spirit. Seeing this, Bong Pao immediately helps the kid and beats the stepfather's spirit. However, Bong Pao was overwhelmed and he almost died. Luckily, Hyunjae came to help Bong Pao. When Bong Pao was beating the ghost, he also remembered the death of his mother and of course this made him even more emotional. Soon after, they took the child's spirit to meet his mother and of course, his mother felt very sad so she apologized because she couldn't look after her son well. It reminded Bong Pao of his mother. Long story short, when Bong Pao was sleeping, he dreamed about his childhood where he was always shunned by his friends because he was a weird child. Bong Pao cried, and Hyun Jai, who saw it, felt very sad. The next morning, a man found a woman's body in the forest buried in leaves. It was Kyunju's body who had been killed by Hai Sung. However, the police felt strange about the scar on her neck because it didn't look like it was done by a human. Meanwhile, Bong Pao was going to commemorate the anniversary of his mother's death. As usual, Hyunji will go wherever Bong Pao goes. But this time, Bong Pao feels very sad because he misses his mother so much. And now, Bong Pao doesn't know where his father is. Luckily, Hyunji always cheers him up. The next day on campus, Chun Sang and In Rang see the other clubs are going on a picnic, so they are going to go on a picnic too with their club to celebrate their new members. Therefore, they asked Siu Yan to come on a picnic with them, so that Bong Pao would want to join them. Luckily, Siu Yan wanted to join them to go on a picnic. Meanwhile, while Hyunji and Bong Pao sat together, a leaf fell on Hyunji's hair, and when Bong Pao took it, Hyunji's face turned red, and it made Hyunji like Bong Pao even more. In short, Chun Sang and In Rang invited Bong Pao to go on a picnic. At first, Bong Pao refused to come, but when he found out that Siu Yan was going to come, Bong Pao would come with them, and this made Hyunji feel annoyed. The next day, they went on a picnic to In Rang's grandmother's villa. When they arrived, it put their luggage in. But when In Rang went upstairs, he accidentally fell. This made In Rang see Hyunji, and he thought that Hyunji was an angel. In Rang was immediately fascinated by her. Meanwhile, Chun Sang pretended not to bring Raymond, so he asked Bong Pao and Siu Yan to buy it. Of course, Chun Sang did it on purpose so they could get closer. Then, when Bong Pao came back, he saw Hyunji sitting alone on the riverbank, so he told Siu Yan to go first. Bong Pao approached Hyunji, then gave an ice cream to her, and it made her very happy because Bong Pao really cared about her. Shortly, 
while they were eating together, they set Bong Pal up with Si Hyun so they would become a couple. Bong Pal, who heard it, only smiled but this made Hyun Jae even more jealous. So Hyun Ji blew smoke towards Si Hyun. After that, they swam in the river. But again, Hyun Ji was jealous and she kept bothering Si Hyun. Without them realizing it, the river was very dangerous. But what could they do, because they didn't know it so they're still enjoying it. Meanwhile, a policeman came to Hai Sung to ask for information regarding the death of Hyun Ju. Hai Sung then said that Hyun Ju was his student, but he was not very close to her. However, the police officer felt suspicious of Hai Sung. That night, unexpectedly, Hai Sung infiltrated Bong Pal's house to look for something. Which means that probably Bong Pal had something very important for Hai Sung. When Hai Sung was about to go home, he met Myung Chul. This moment immediately made them fall silent and Hai Sung remembered the past when Myung Chiol was still great. Meanwhile, the Ghost Net Club was playing a game by spinning the bottle. When the bottle was pointed at Si Yun, Chun Sang asked if she liked anyone. Then Si Yun said that she liked someone but that person wasn't here. Of course, this made Bong Pao feel heartbroken and again, In Rang was able to see Hyun Jai. When the bottle was pointed at Bong Pao, Si Yun also asked if Bong Pao liked anyone. But Bong Pao didn't answer and he immediately left. This also made Hyun Ji feel sad because she liked Bong Pao and hoped that Bong Pao would also like her. The next morning, Hyun Ji felt very sad because her love is one-sided. Not long after that, Si Yun came to enjoy her time. But suddenly, something came to Si Yun. There's a ghost from the river and it pulled Si Yun into the water. Of course, this made Hyun Ji very panicked. Then Bong Pao came and immediately helped Si Yun. Because Si Yun's leg was injured, Bong Pao immediately went to buy medicine and asked Hyun Ji to come with him. Bong Pao was very angry because he thought that it was Hyun Ji's doing, because Hyun Ji didn't like Su Yun. Hyun Ji said that she didn't do it, but Bong Pao didn't believe her either. That made Hyun Ji feel disappointed. When Bong Pao was buying medicine, the shop owner said that Bong Pao had to be careful because in the river, there was a woman's wandering spirit. Hearing this made Bong Pao really panic and he immediately left. When Hyun Ji was sitting on the riverbank, she was suddenly pulled by the ghost. Fortunately, Bong Pao came to help Hyun Jai who was unconscious. Finally, Bong Pao managed to defeat the ghost and immediately helped Hyun Jai. After that, Hyun Ji cried because she was very scared. Here, Bong Pao apologizes for leaving Hyun Jai alone. Meanwhile, at another place, a mother was very angry with her daughter named Su Kyung. She was angry because Su Kyung's exam results were not satisfactory. This made Su Kyung frustrated and even intended to commit suicide. But when she was about to jump, she saw a ghost, a horrifying woman. Meanwhile, Hyun Jai had a dream about her death. When Hyun Ji was crossing the street, she was hit by a car and a man came over to her. Not only that, Hyun Jai also saw a woman who was very worried about her when she was taken to the hospital. Bong Pao worried about Hyun Ji, so he decided not to leave and cook food for her. Bong Pao was surprised because apparently, ghosts can get sick. Then Hyun Ji said that a ghost could get sick and can even fall in love. Meanwhile, Myung Chiol went to meet Bong Pao's father. But when he arrived at the house, Bong Pao's father was not there and Myung Chiol saw there were lots of spell papers. Then a woman said that at that time, a man came to see Bong Pao's father. The woman thought it was his son, but Bong Pao's father was very scared when he saw the man. Then Bong Pao's father immediately went to the back of the hill, because he was curious. Myung Chiol immediately looked for Bong Pao's father and saw some stones that had blood on it meaning that maybe something bad had happened to Bong Pao's father. In another place, Detective Yang and his friend met with Siu Yan to ask about Hyun Ju's death, but Siu Yan was very surprised because she just found out that Hyun Ju had died. Then Siu Yan said that when she met with Hyun Ju last time, Hyun Ju looked very weird and seemed scared. Siu Yan also found Hai Sung's pen which had fallen from Hyun Ju's bag. However, Siu Yan had returned the pen to Hai Sung and of course, this made Hai Sung even more suspicious. That evening, Myung Chiol tried to call Bong Pao's father, but it turned out that Hai Sung had Bong Pao's father's cell phone. Unexpectedly, it turned out that Hai Sung was the one who had killed Bong Pao's father because Hai Sung was looking for something. When the morning came, Bong Pao asked Chun Sang why there wasn't any more job to do. Then, Chun Sang said that they can consider their own leave now. Then, In Rang gave photos to Bong Pao while they were on holiday, but Bong Pao didn't seem to care too much, and he immediately left. After that, Bong Pao taught Hyun Ji to study again. But Hyun Ji's grades were still below the standard. Therefore, Bong Pao promised to give Hyun Ji anything if her score is above 80. Of course, this made Hyun Ji even more enthusiastic. While in Su Kim's house in the evening, Su Kim's mother was very scared to see her daughter acting strangely. She even told her mother to go out of her room. 
It seemed that Su Kyung was possessed. Then in the morning, the Coast Net Club bought a suit as their uniform and exercising coasts. Hyun Jae saw Bong Pao wearing a suit and she thought that he's very handsome, so she asked Bong Pao to buy her a suit too. Then they went to Su Kyung's house and now Su Kyung was being locked up by her mother because as the day went by, her daughter was acting more and more strangely. Even Su Kyung had the heart to hurt her mother and she now often goes to a nightclub. Bong Pao went to Su Kyung's room which is very messy, and it turns out that she was possessed by an evil ghost. And suddenly, she immediately attacked Bong Pao. But they couldn't do anything because they were overwhelmed by Su Kyung who was possessed and she ran away. It turned out that the ghost influenced Su Kyung to jump from the top of the apartment. Luckily, Hyun Ji managed to stop her and of course, the ghost was very angry and attacked Hyun Jae. Soon after that, Bong Pao came and immediately beat the ghost. But again, they had a very hard time fighting the ghost. Then Su Kyung's mother apologized her daughter and was very sorry for being too strict with her in studying. And this made the ghost immediately come out of Su Kyung's body so Bong Pao can beat the ghost without fear of hurting Su Kyung. That night, Hyun Ji managed to get a score above 80. Therefore, Hyun Ji asked to go to the amusement park and Bong Pao agreed because he had promised. The next day from campus, Bong Pao would go to the amusement park together with Hyun Jae. But suddenly, Su Yeon was hit by a motorbike, so Bong Pao immediately took Su Yeon to the hospital. Meanwhile, Hyun Ji was waiting for Bong Pao, but she was disappointed because Bong Pao didn't come. Meanwhile, Detective Yang finally got the surveillance camera footage showing the scene before Hyun Ju died. But when he was checking it, the camera suddenly went black for five minutes. Of course, this makes Detective Yang feel annoyed. At night, Kyungja followed Hai Sun because she likes him. Here, Kyungja finds Hyun Ji's student card. But shockingly, it turns out that Hai Sun can see Kyungja. And without talking much, Hai Sun got rid of Kyungja. Meanwhile, Bong Pao came to the amusement park to meet Hyun Jae. However, Hyun Ji wasn't there, so Bong Pao immediately looked for her at his apartment. It turned out that Hyun Ji was sad and miserable because Bong Pao didn't come to the amusement park. Bong Pao apologized to Hyun Ji because he had something to do so he couldn't come. Even though Hyun Ji said it was okay, she actually felt very disappointed. Meanwhile, the reason that Hai Sung killed Bong Pao's father was because Bong Pao's father didn't want to give Hai Sung the object that he had been looking for. Worse, it turned out that Hai Sung was the one who killed Bong Pao's mother. It means that Hai Sung was the incarnation of the devil, but he's in disguise. However, Bong Pao's father didn't want to say the object's whereabouts. If the object fell in Hai Sung's hands, then his wife's death would be in vain. Because Hai Sung felt very angry, he immediately killed Bong Pao's father. The next morning, Bong Pao seemed to start like Hyun Jae. He always smiles when he sees Hyun Jae happy. Meanwhile, while smiling, In Rang keeps looking at a photo when they were having a picnic because he knows that Hyun Ji was in the photo too. But Chun Sang thinks that In Rang likes Su Yeon. Not long after that, Bong Pao comes with Hyun Ji and Chun Sang says that In Rang always smiles when he sees their photo. In Rang then shows the photo and says that in the photo, there is a very beautiful angel. Hyun Ji realizes that it is her. Shortly, Su Yeon invites Bong Pao to eat with her as a thank you. Hyun Ji, who knows the reason why Bong Pao didn't come to the amusement park, feels very annoyed and she immediately leaves. While outside, Hai Sun kept looking at Hyun Jae. In the evening, as an apology, Bong Pao gave something to Hyun Ji and it was an official uniform to ward off ghosts. Of course, Hyun Ji felt very happy. Meanwhile, in another place, the workers intended to destroy a mental hospital, which is no longer used. In this hospital, the doctors always tortured their patients which resulted in seven patients dying. And all of this was revealed when one patient managed to escape. Here, the foreman heard the voice of a woman asking for help. The next morning, Bong Pao was very impressed to see Hyun Ji who was very, very beautiful, wearing her new clothes. Then they went to the mental hospital to get rid of the ghost. When they arrived, they enter a room where there might be a ghost. But Chun Sang and In Rang were separated from Bong Pao, and suddenly they saw a scary ghost. As they were leaving, they were confronted by another ghost. But strangely, when Bong Pao beat the ghost, it seemed to ask for help to be freed. They realized that the ghost was not evil. And after a while, the police came and managed to find his body. And now they can go to the next life peacefully. Apparently, Chun Sang and In Rang also realized that all this time, Bong Pao was accompanied by a very beautiful female ghost. Bong Pao was forced to admit it and her name is Hyun Jae. And now she's beside him. When In Rang wanted to touch Hyun Jae, Bong Pao felt jealous. That evening, Bong Pao and Hyun Ji went to the amusement park because Bong Pao promised to play with Hyun Jae. Because Hyun Ji was carried away by the situation, she confidently said that she liked Bong Pao. 
But this actually made Hyunji feel embarrassed and maybe their relationship won't be like it used to be, because Hyunji immediately left when Bong Pao saw her. Even at home, Hyunji pretended to be asleep to avoid Bong Pao. In the morning, Bong Pao and Hyunji feel awkward. Even Bong Pao became awkward every time he saw Hyunji. Not long after, Bong Pao got a call to exercise the ghosts, then he awkwardly invited Hyunji. Even so, they still did their job well and managed to defeat the ghosts easily. So that their relationship is no longer awkward, Hyunji invites Bong Pao to race up the stairs. And the winner has the right to ask anything from the one who loses. Because Hyunji won the game, she wanted to take back what she said yesterday and asked Bong Pao to behave as usual. But strangely, suddenly, Hyunji's body started to disappear. And of course, this made Bong Pao very panicked until finally, Hyunji disappeared. But not long after that, Hyunji appeared again and Bong Pao immediately hugged her. Then when they got home, Bong Pao told Hyunji to sleep in his room while Bong Pao was going to sleep on the couch. Remembering the incident earlier made Hyunji feel very happy and increasingly fall in love with Bong Pao. Meanwhile, Hai Sung came to Hyunju's funeral. Because of Hyunju's death, her boyfriend Min Su felt very sad. But without Min Su realizing, it turned out that Hai Sung was watching him from inside the car. On the other hand, Bong Pao, who started to like Hyunji, asked her to go on a date. Day by day, Bong Pao feels more and more comfortable with Hyunji. Even Bong Pao asks her to buy clothes. Even though other people think that Bong Pao is a weird person, he doesn't care at all. They date like normal people by going for walks and eating together. Moreover, Bong Pao was very concerned about Hyunjue. Meanwhile, the police found Hai Sung's car which was heading to the place where Hyunju's body was found, so they called Hai Sung to come to the police station. In another place, Hyunji dreamed about her death again and saw the woman who was very worried about her. Bong Pao then woke up and immediately came to accompany Hyunji. On the other side, Hai Sung came to the police station to be interrogated. Detective Yang then showed a photo of Hai Sung's car leading to the place where Hyunju's body was found. Hai Sung said that he went there to meet his mother, but soon they received news that Hyunju's boyfriend was died because of suicide. Before he died, Min Su sent a message to his mother that he was the one who had killed Hyunju. However, it turned out that it was all a plan made by Hai Sung so that the police would not suspect him. Of course, it was Hai Sung who had killed Min Su. However, due to the lack of evidence, the police were forced to release Hai Sung. Then, when Hai Sung arrived at his clinic, he saw Bong Pao who was looking at his dog, so he invited Bong Pao to come in. Meanwhile, Hyunjae chased the dog and she entered Hai Sung's room. It turned out that Hai Sung was also watching Hyunjae, but she didn't know yet that Hai Sung could see her. Not long after, Bong Pao came to say goodbye and asked Hyunjae to go. But outside, Myung Chul saw Bong Pao was talking with Hai Sung, and this made him even more curious about Hai Sung. Shortly, when at home, Myung Chul was curious about Hai Sung, so he looked for a video recording of Bong Pao's graduation day at his school. When Myung Chul saw the video, he was very surprised because in that video, Hai Sung is watching Bong Pao with his father. On the other hand, there's a man named Hai Yun Min who was very frustrated because his girlfriend died. This makes his younger sister very worried, so she asks Bong Pao's help to get rid of the ghost. Shortly, Bong Pao arrived at the house, and when he entered the room, he saw a woman's wandering spirit who immediately left when Bong Pao came. Because the ghost had left, they decided to go home. But here, accidentally, Chun Sang asked In Rang to never fall in love with a ghost because it will make his life difficult and he will certainly be considered weird by other people. Hearing this, Hyunji became sad and confused. She even kept thinking about it all day long. But Bong Pao doesn't care about that and will continue to love Hyunji no matter what happens. Meanwhile, Myung Chiul came to Hai Sung's clinic just to make sure that they had met before. However, Hai Sung didn't answer Myung Chiul. Strangely, after shaking Hai Sung's hand, Myung Chul's hand was shaking. Then when she got home, Hyunjae saw Hai Sung in the video, but Bong Pao immediately turned the video off. In another place, the doctor said that from the autopsy results, Min Su's death was a suicide, but Detective Yang didn't believe it either. He was very sure that Min Su had been killed. Therefore, they immediately went to Hai Sung's mother's house just to confirm their suspicions. But here, Hai Sung's mother looked scared when the police asked about her son. Suddenly, Hai Sung was outside the house. On the other hand, Hai Min was raging again and this made his sister panic. Not long after that, his girlfriend's ghost came back. Then Bong Pao came to save Hai Min, but he was gone. It turned out that Hai Min intended to commit suicide so that he could be with his girlfriend again. However, it turned out that the ghost intended to help Hai Min from committing suicide. And after that, Hai Min jumped to the river and Bong Pao quickly helped him. It turned out that all this time the ghost had never bothered Hai Min. 
In fact, she always kept Haya Min from committing suicide because since her death, Haya Min was no longer enthusiastic about living his life. But his girlfriend asked him to remain enthusiastic about living his life. Long story short, Myung Chiul accidentally saw Bong Pao was joking with a ghost and of course this made Myung Chiul angry because Bong Pao's mother died because of a ghost. However, Bong Pao didn't care about that because he had fallen in love with Hyun Jai. Later, Myung Chiul just remembered that today was Bong Pao's birthday. He went back to Bong Pao's house to give him a birthday cake. However, Bong Pao wasn't at home. Myung Chiul realized that Hyunji was here, so he asked Hyunji to leave Bong Pao because ghosts and humans can never live together. Hearing this made Hyunji even sadder and she cried thinking about her relationship with Bong Pao. That night, Bong Pao and Hyunji went to see the fireworks festival. Then Bong Pao kissed Hyunji on her forehead. Of course, this made Hyunji even sadder, then she asked Bong Pao to buy her a drink. However, it turned out that Hyunji deliberately did it so she could leave. Even though it made her feel very sad, Hyunjai realized that they would never be together and maybe this was the best for her and Bong Pao. When Bong Pao came back, he was very panicked because Hyunji wasn't there. After that, Bong Pao looked for Hyunji at home, but she wasn't there. Bong Pao then saw a birthday cake from Myung Chiul and he realized that Myung Chiul had kicked Hyunjai out. Bong Pao immediately called Myung Chiul and asked him to meet. Bong Pao asked what Myung Chiul had said to Hyunjai. Then Myung Chiul said that if Hyunjai is a ghost, they will not be able to live together. However, Bong Pao doesn't care and he's very angry because according to him, it's none of Myung Chiul's business. Bong Pao then went to find Hyunjai. Meanwhile, in another place, a man is driving and suddenly he was startled by a ghost that appeared in front of him. As a result, he lost control and immediately crashed his car. In the morning, Hai Sung went to Bong Pao's mother's grave. Hai Sung was still looking for an object that had been hidden by Bong Pao's father. Apparently, the object Hai Sung was looking for was a ritual instrument. Previously, a ghost which had possessed Hai Sung's body once possessed Bong Pao's body when Bong Pao was still a kid. But Myung Chiol managed to chase the ghost away using the object. On the other hand, In Rang felt heartbroken because his love was rejected by Hyun Jie and this made him very frustrated. While Bong Pao is still thinking about Hyun Jie, who is now somewhere, Hyun Jie feels confused about whether this is the best for their relationship or not. Bong Pao, who looked for Hyun Jie until the night, finally managed to find her. At that time, Hyun Jie was sad and Bong Pao asked her to go home with him. Hyun Jie refused and said that she was not happy with Bong Pao. With a broken heart, Bong Pao left Hyun Jie. In the morning, Myung Chiul met the monk who guards Bong Pao's mother's grave. The monk said that a man had come to Bong Pao's mother's grave and Myung Chiul realized that it was Hai Sung. Meanwhile, Hyun Jae saw a woman had been hit by a car and this made Hyun Jae remember again about her death. In fact, the one who had hit Hyun Jae was Hai Sung. He did it on purpose because he was sure that the object was with Hyun Jae. That night, Hyun Jae met a woman who was in her dream. And the woman is her mother. So Hyun Jae followed her mother home and it turned out that Hyun Jae was once a martial arts athlete who had won many competitions. Her mother felt very sad while looking at Hyun Jae's photo. However, at that time, Hai Sung was watching Hyun Jae's house. Meanwhile, Chun Sang, In Rang, and Bong Pao were on their way to exercise the ghost, but suddenly Bong Pao saw something. When they were about to leave, the ghost was pulling Chun Sang's leg. But luckily, Bong Pao managed to help him. At that time, Bong Pao felt very angry, so he vented all his anger at the ghost. Then suddenly a car came and this made Bong Pao injured, so they immediately took Bong Pao to the hospital. Meanwhile, Hyun Ju's mother got a call from the hospital. This made her panic, so she immediately went to the hospital. Unexpectedly, it turned out that Hyun Jae had not died all this time, but she had been in a coma for five years. Of course, this made Hyun Ji feel so happy that she immediately went to meet Bong Pao. Coincidentally, Bong Pao was in the same hospital. Accidentally, Hyun Ji saw Bong Pao and immediately approached him. Here, Hyun Ji apologized for leaving Bong Pao. But suddenly, Hyun Ji's body started to disappear, and it turned out that this was because Hai Sung was going to kill Hyun Ji. The doctor tried to help Hyunji, but then Hyunji's spirit disappeared. This made Bong Pao very panicked. Unexpectedly, Hyunji came back to consciousness from her coma. Of course, that made Hai Sung shocked. While Bong Pao was looking for Hyunji, he fell unconscious. But the problem was, even though Hyunji had woken up from her coma for five years, this made her not remember anything. The doctor said that this was very normal because Hyunji had only just woken up from her coma for five years. The doctor asked Hyunji's parents to be patient because Hyunji's memory will return soon. 
After that, Myung Chiul came to the hospital to see Bong Pao. Here he was mad at Chun Sang and In Rang because they asked Bong Pao to exercise ghosts. The news about Him and Jai who had woken up from her coma for five years made everyone happy, and it was a miracle. In Rang was curious about this, so he tried to see her. And yes, In Rang was very shocked and he told Bong Pao that Hyunji was still alive. All this time, Hyunji was in a coma for five years. Knowing that Bong Pao immediately went to see Hyun Jai. But at that time, Hyunji didn't recognize Bong Pao at all. Not long after that, Hyunji's mother came and told Bong Pao to leave because her daughter had just woken up from her coma, so she needed rest. Of course, Bong Pao felt very sad because Hyunji didn't remember him at all. After that, he immediately went home with Myung Chiul. Shortly, Chun Sang and In Rang came to Bong Pao's house to say that Hyunji was the victim of a hit and run and that caused her memory loss. But Bong Pao doesn't need to worry because Hyunji's memory will come back and they asked Bong Pao to stay motivated. Myung Chiul also just found out about this, making him very surprised. Meanwhile, when Kemji was walking around, suddenly her wheelchair went backwards. But luckily, Hai Sung was there so he took Hyunji to her room. In short, Bong Pao came and said that he was Hyunji's boyfriend. This made Hyunji very surprised and couldn't believe it. Even though Hyunji was annoyed with Bong Pao, Bong Pao came every day to meet Hyunji, hoping that her memory will return soon. One day, Myung Chiul comes to give Hyunji a gift, but she wasn't there. So Myung Chiul asked Hyunji's mother to tell Hyunji that this food is an apology from the monk who once hurt her. But when he was about to come home, Myung Chiul saw Hyunji together with Hai Sung. Then Bong Pao invites Hyunji to have lunch with him. Here, Hyunjai really likes Bong Pao's cooking and asks how he can know her favorite food. But Bong Pao didn't say anything and just smiled. When Hyunji was about to go back to her room, she fell into Bong Pao's arms and this made her remember the first time she met Bong Pao. When she returned to her room, Hyunji felt someone was following her and suddenly, she saw something terrible. Hyunji was very afraid and she called out Bong Pao's name. After a while, Bong Pao came and it turned out to be a ghost. He was a doctor who committed suicide because he had killed his patient while performing an operation. Meanwhile, Myung Chiul secretly entered Hai Sung's room and he was so shocked to see Hyunji's student card. Not long after that, Hai Sung came and Myung Chiul casually said that he was in the wrong room. On the other hand, even though she is scared, Hyunji tries to fight the ghost that is bothering her. Not long after, Bong Pao came and immediately helped Hyunji. Bong Pao is very panicked because Hyun Jai is unconscious, so he calls the doctor. Meanwhile, Myung Chiul and Hai Sung looked at each other sharply. This also made the atmosphere even more heated, but this time Hai Sung lets Myung Chiul go. In the morning, Hyun Ji's mother asks about last night's incident. Hyun Jai says that she saw a very scary ghost. Previously, he was one of the doctors at this hospital who died due to suicide. But fortunately, Bong Pao came to help Hyun Jai. That evening, Bong Pao and Hyunji's relationship became closer and Hyunji felt very comfortable with Bong Pao. The next day, Bong Pao will meet Hyunji again because today, Hyunji will come home. Before that, Bong Pao bought a necklace for Hyunji. However, Hyunji's mother asked Bong Pao to stay away from her daughter because last night, Hyunji fainted. Of course, this made Bong Pao very sad. Long story short, Hyunji went home and was very happy because she got lots of gifts. Then at night, Hyunji tried to contact Bong Pao but he ignored her because he remembered Hyunji's mother's words. In the morning on campus, Chun Sang and In Rang were going to put up banners to look for witnesses about Hyunji's car accident case five years ago. But not long after, Hyunji came to campus to meet Hai Sung. Hyunji wanted to study in this campus as long as her test scores were good. Everyone was very impressed by Hyunji's beauty. But when Hyunji was on campus, she saw Bong Pao very close to Siu Yan, and this made her jealous. Meanwhile, Myung Chiul came to the police station to report that Hyunji's belongings were at Hai Sung's office. But not long after that, the police came with Chun Sang and In Rang, where they were reported by residents for putting up banners without permission. However, the police only gave them a warning. Apparently, Detective Yang felt that the cases were connected, and it made him even more curious about Hai Sung. Outside of the police station, Myung Chiul asked Chun Sang and In Rang to watch Hai Sung because maybe Hai Sung had something to do with all of this. Elsewhere, Su Yan said that she liked Hai Sun. However, Hai Sun rejects Su Yan's feelings, and he immediately leaves, leaving Su Yan. Because of this, Su Yan felt sad. Meanwhile, when Bong Pao and Hyunji were sitting together, Hyunji felt that they had previously sat here. Then, Hyunji went to meet her friend. While Bong Pao saw Su Yan who was sad because her love was refused by Hai Sun, 
Because of that, Siu Nian invited Bong Pao to drink with her. But while they're having fun chatting, Bong Pao went to the toilet for a moment. At the same time, Hyun Jae called Bong Pao to ask him to meet, but Siu Yan was the one who picked up the phone. Of course, this made Hyun Jae even more jealous. Because Siu Yan had drunk too much, Bong Pao intended to take her home. But suddenly, Hyun Jae came and immediately grabbed Bong Pao's hand. Hyun Jae was very angry at Bong Pao for going with another woman, even though Bong Pao had previously said that he was Hyun Jae's boyfriend. Bong Pao was very happy to hear this and Bong Pao immediately kissed Hyun Jae. However, Hyunju was shocked, so she immediately kicked him and she was very angry because she had never kissed before. But soon after that, they made up again. Bong Pao then gave the necklace to Hyunju and now, they are officially dating. After that, Bong Pao took Hyunju home and Hyunju asked Bong Pao to never get close to other women. In the meantime, the police managed to find the truth that the car which had hit Hyunju five years ago turned out to be Hai Sung's car. However, Hai Sung sold the car to get rid of the evidence. And here, Hai Sung was burning Hyunji's belongings. Meanwhile, when Hyunji was going to sleep, suddenly she saw a ghost. This made Hyunji very scared and immediately called Bong Pao. Not long after, Bong Pao came and saw Hyunji, who was very scared. Hyun Jai then told Bong Pao that she could see ghosts. But without them realizing, it turned out that Hai Sung was watching them from a distance. Hyun Jai then asked Bong Pao why is he not afraid when he sees a ghost. Then Bong Pao said that when he was little, he was very afraid when he saw a ghost and made him feel uneasy. But Myung Chiol was always there for him, so that made Bong Pao not afraid of ghosts anymore. And now Bong Pao will always be there for Hyun Jae. At home, Bong Pao said to Myung Chiol if Hyun Jae can see ghosts. Then Myung Chiol asked Bong Pao to be patient. Maybe this is because Hyun Jae has been in a coma for five years. The next morning, Bong Pao teaches Hyun Jae self defense in case she meets an evil ghost. But it turns out that Hyunji is stronger than Bong Pao. Chun Sang and In Rang accidentally saw them and made them embarrassed. Then, Chun Sang will try to fight Hyunji, and the result is very surprising. Meanwhile, a man finds a body in the forest, which turns out to be Bong Pao's father, who was killed by Hai Sung. Immediately, the police called Myung Chiol. Here, Myung Chiol was very shocked and didn't know what to say to Bong Pao. But no matter what, Bong Pao had to know about his father. So the heavy heart, Myung Chiol said that Bong Pao's father had died. At first, Bong Pao didn't believe it. But when he saw his father, Bong Pao was very devastated and he even ignored Hyun Ji's call. Then Bong Pao prepares for his father's funeral. Myung Chiol called Hyun Ji to say that Bong Pao is grieving because his father has died. Of course, Hyun Ji was very sad, so she immediately went to meet Bong Pao. There, Hyun Ji saw Bong Pao who was sad, and she tried to cheer him up. When Hyun Jae saw the photo of Bong Pao's father, she remembered the incident five years ago. At that time, Hyun Jae was at the temple and Bong Pao's father entrusted an object to her and asked her to deliver the object to Bong Pao. It turned out that the object was a ritual instrument that Hai Sung was looking for and he wanted to destroy it because Hai Sung is very afraid of that object. Myung Shiol, who knows about this, asks Hyun Jae not to tell anyone about this. But the problem is that now, Hyun Jae doesn't know where the object is so she immediately goes to look for it. It turns out that Hai Sung is there too and he met Myung Chiol. Of course Myung Chiol was mad. So after the evil spirit came out of Bong Pao's body, it was looking for a new body and Hai Sung happened to be there. Myung Chiol tried to fight Hai Sung but he had no power and Hai Sung is very strong. But this time, Hai Sung won't kill Myung Chiol because now Myung Chiol's abilities have disappeared. So Myung Chiol is no threat to Hai Sung. Meanwhile, Bong Pao opens a letter from his father which he has never read at all. This also made Bong Pao increasingly sad and apologized to his father. Hyun Jai heard Bong Pao crying and she also felt very sad. But here, Hyun Jai had no other choice, so she said that tomorrow she would move. But because Bong Pao was in mourning, he just kept quiet. When Hyun Ji was about to go home, she met Hai Sung, and Hai Sung asked her to go inside. On the other side, the police came to Bong Pao's place to say that it was very likely that Bong Pao's father was killed by Hai Sung. Bong Pao, who was curious, immediately asked Myung Chiol, and with a heavy heart, Myung Chiol said that in Hai Sung's body, it has an evil spirit that once possessed Bong Pao's body. Now Hai Sung is targeting Hyun Jae and Bong Pao to get the ritual objects. Meanwhile, not long after drinking, Hyun Jae started to feel dizzy. And it turned out that Hai Sung had mixed sleeping pills in the drink. And now, Bong Pao was very panicked because Hyun Ji couldn't be contacted. This also made Bong Pao realize that something had happened to her. On the other hand, Chun Sang and In Rang were monitoring Hai Sung's clinic, and not long after that, 
Hai Sung came out carrying Hyun Jae. However, they didn't know that it was Hyun Jae. Because they were curious, they then followed Hai Sung. Bong Pal, who was very worried about Hyun Ji, came to Hai Sung's place, but this place was locked, so Bong Pal broke the glass to get in. However, Bong Pal didn't find anyone and only found Hyun Ji's necklace, so he immediately called the police. Meanwhile, Hai Sung changed his car so that he wouldn't be easily tracked by the police. Chun Sang and In Rang were very surprised to see Hai Sung moving Hyun Jai, but accidentally In Rang spoke too loudly, which made them almost get caught. Luckily, a guard came. But because the guard saw Hyun Jai, Hai Sung immediately killed him. Later, Chun Sang and In Rang immediately followed Hai Sung, but unfortunately their car broke down. They immediately called Bong Pal to come, but the police had difficulty tracking Hai Sung. Fortunately, In Rang managed to find the GPS in Hai Sung's car beforehand and managed to find Hai Sung's next destination. Meanwhile, the police asked Hai Sung's mother to come to the police station and she was very sad if Hai Sung was involved in a murder case. Then Myung Chiol invited Hai Sung's mother to talk to him. Here, Hai Sung's mother said that in the past she was often beaten by her husband and Hai Sung tried to defend her. But unexpectedly, Hai Sung pushed his father from the top of the apartment. Meanwhile, Hyun Jae has regained consciousness, and she is very panicked because her hands are tied by Hai Sung. But here, Hyun Jae remembers where she kept the ritual object and Hai Sung asks Hyun Ji to tell him where the object is kept. Not long after, Chun Sang, In Rang, and Bong Pal come to help Hyun Jae. Before leaving, Hyun Ji writes a message on her cell phone for Bong Pal, and when they arrive, they couldn't find Hyun Jae. Bong Pal finds Hyun Ji's cell phone and there's a message about where Hai Sung will take her. Meanwhile, Myung Chiol meets with his friend to take his weapon, which has been given a spell to defeat Hai Sung. At the destination place, Hai Sung killed the guard very sadistically. Not long after, they all arrived and saw the guard who was dead. And that means Hai Sung is in this place. So they immediately went to look for Hyun Jae. And here, Hai Sung managed to get the object. Hyun Ji tried to fight Hai Sung, but with his strength, Hai Sung managed to chase Hyun Jae. Hai Sung intended to kill Hyun Jae, but fortunately, Bong Pal came at the right time and immediately beat Hai Sung. However, Bong Pal's strength was no match for Hai Sung, so Hai Sung managed to defeat Bong Pal easily. Myung Chiol also wanted to kill Hai Sung, but it was useless because Hai Sung managed to defeat Myung Chiol. Then the evil spirit intended to move into Bong Pal's body, but with his remaining strength, Myung Chiol used his last move to kill Hai Sung. In the end, Hai Sung can be defeated by Myung Chiol. But now, the evil spirit was about to possess Bong Pal's body. However, Myung Chiol immediately stopped it and asked Hyun Ji to look for the ritual object. Unfortunately, the evil spirit managed to defeat Myung Chiol. Fortunately, Hyun Ji also managed to find the object and immediately threw it at Bong Pal. Here, Bong Pal was very panicked and thought that Myung Chiol was dead. However, Myung Chiol was still alive and just ran out of energy. Not long after, Chun Sang and In Rang came together with the police. Even though it was the work of an evil spirit, like it or not, Hai Sung still has to be detained. Bong Pal, who saw this, felt very sorry because Hai Sung was just a victim. Shortly, Bong Pal and the police took Hyun Jae home, but Hyun Jae's mother was very angry with Bong Pal because he had put Hyun Jae in danger twice, so she asked Bong Pal to stay away from Hyun Jae. On the hearing this, Bong Pal just kept quiet and when he was going home, Bong Pal gave the necklace. On the other side, Hai Sung's mother told her son that the one who had committed the murder was the evil spirit in Hai Sung's body. But even so, Hai Sung would still be punished and Hai Sung also told his mother that in his heart, he wanted to do it. Meanwhile, Hyun Jae called Bong Pal to say that now, she was going to move and she really hoped that Bong Pal would come to see her. However, Bong Pal only saw Hyun Ji from a distance, because Hyun Ji's mother asked him to stay away from her daughter. Long story short, Hyun Jae studied very hard so she could get good results in her exam and was able to enter the same campus as Bong Pao. Finally, the day arrived. Hyun Jae couldn't wait to see the results of her exam, but she felt annoyed because there was a ghost that kept bothering her. However, it turned out that Hyun Jae didn't pass the exam, which made her feel very sad. Even so, Bong Pao still encouraged Hyun Jae to try again next year. While on campus, Bong Pao was approached by his female friends to invite him to come to the new student admissions event. One by one, the new students introduced themselves to their seniors, but Bong Pal just remained silent because he was still thinking about Hyun Jae. But suddenly, Hyun Ji was there. Yes, Hyun Ji lied to Bong Pal just to give him a surprise. When Hyun Ji was asked if she had a boyfriend, Hyun Ji said that she already had a boyfriend, and now that person is here. 
Bong Pal feels very happy because after a long time, he and Hyunji can finally be together again. And now, Hyunji lives with her uncle. Long story short, Bong Pal asked Myung Chul to stop being an exorcist and asked him to live with him. Of course, this made Myung Chul move. One night, Hyunji got a message that her mother was at home. So Hyunji told Bong Pal to go home. But instead of going home, Bong Pal bravely met Hyunji's mother to ask for her blessings on their relationship. While meeting Hyunji's mother, Bong Pal asked for permission to date Hyunji. But not long after, Bong Pal came home feeling very sad. And it turns out that Bong Pal got the blessing from Hyunji's mother to go on a date with Hyunji. In the morning, Chun Sang and In Rang invited Bong Pal and Hyunji to go back to exercising ghosts, but Bong Pal refused. However, Hyunji didn't mind going back to exercising ghosts because for her, not all ghosts are evil because there are ghosts who have to be helped so that they could go to the next life peacefully. Finally, they returned to exercise the ghosts and their first duty was to exercise the ghosts in the restaurant. In the end, 